Man, I look good. I'm so pretty. You can't tell me any different. Mm. All right, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am filming a Sephora VIB Rouge haul. Um, the past two or three weekends have been the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, and your girl went in. <laughs> I went just a little ham and bought a ton of stuff. And um, I love haul videos. They're one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube. I like to see what other people think is worth spending money on, if that makes sense. Yeah, what they like to spend their money on, what they think is worth spending money on. And then I like to make my little list and then go buy it all. So and that's what I did. I picked up a few things, um, restocked a few things because it's the perfect time to do it. I mean, 20% off of everything in the store. So why not, right? You know? So the first thing I got, the big item sitting here on my table, is the Sephora Give Me More Lip. The Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip. And this is what it looks like inside. I hope that is all able to be seen. Um, this is a $68 value. No. You spend $68 and it's a $254 value. But you get five full size, pro full size products and then 10 deluxe size samples. Um, and I haven't tried a whole lot of the stuff that's in here. I mean, I've, I've tried a ton of lip products, don't get me wrong. But um, I've only tried like a few things that were in here. So this to me really stuck out. It seemed like a good product. So of course I had to get it, you know. And right now I'm wearing the Bobbi Brown lipstick this in here and I'm digging it I'm feeling it yes I got four pair of lashes eyelashes um because why not yeah 20% off um I got the Sephora and House of Lash collaboration lashes they're what I have on right now this is a new pair love those don't have to trim them they fit perfect um then I got the Huda Beauty Samantha Lash, number seven. Let's see, I don't know if you can even see that. I love these lashes. They're really, really pretty and they're dramatic. You have to trim them though. Um, and then I picked up two pair of the Velour Lashes. I got Fluff and Wispy and Fluff and Edgy. One's a little bit more dramatic than the other, but they're both super wispy and super pretty. Jaclyn Hill has suggested the lash, these lashes, so of course I had to pick them up, see what the hype was all about. So, Alright, next product I got was the YSL All Hours Foundation, and I got the shade BD30 Warm Almond. So, it's what I have on my face right now. This foundation is amazing. I'm so glad I grabbed it, especially while it was on sale. Um, full coverage, beautiful finish i'm obsessed i want more colors i love that and then i picked up the ysl tattoo couture matte satin lip stain it's like a matte lip stain this is what it looks like i got the shade nine which is supposed to be like a um blue toned red this is beautiful. Um, it feels like absolutely nothing on your lips. It's so comfortable. It is matte, but it's not uncomfortable, like I just said. And it stays on because it stains your lips. It, this is amazing. I want to go ahead and pick up a few more shades if I want to. I picked up the oh so controversial subculture palette from Anastasia. Um, the shades in here. Are stunning they're beautiful they're very fall but in a different way there I don't have anything like this in my collection I don't have these blues or the greens and the um, I just don't have anything like this so I'm glad I picked it up it inspires me a lot it makes me want to branch out and try different stuff so I'm really into it right now I really really like it I also picked up 
the Smashbox, this is probably awful on the camera, you can't see it, but it's the Smashbox and Casey Holmes collaboration, the Spotlight Palette in Pearl. And I picked up Pearl instead of gold because I love gold highlighters, but I have so many that th that was my justification for picking this one up, is that it wasn't gold, it was something different. I picked up the another one of my Origins matte moisturizers it's like a gel moisturizer i mean um but i really like this it does make my skin more matte but it really does hydrate very well and my issue with moisturizers is i haven't found a good daytime moisturizer that doesn't break me out or that keeps my makeup from getting super oily throughout the day and this this does this helps tremendously i love this this is a product i'll continue to repurchase and then i also picked up another one of the Ole Hendrickson Truth Serums. Um, this is my daytime serum. This is my favorite serum ever. This is the vitamin C. It really helps with my dark spots um, and acne scars. And I love this. When it comes with little stickers. How cute. I don't know if you can see the inside of the package. Is I love that. <laughs> that is so precious. And then it came with these little stickers. And then like the last skincare-ish item I got was the um, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Yes, I know I have a problem. I'm well aware. The, the Farsali Unicorn Essence Primer Serum stuff. It's like pink and glittery. And it smells like candy. It smells I also got the Anastasia A23 Highlight Brush. This is what I've been using. I'm obsessed. It's like, I love this. It looks amazing. It works well with all my highlights. I'm just obsessed. Um, but the next thing I also picked up was the Clarisonic Foundation Brush Head. I am obsessed with this. I'm glad I got it. This is amazing to blend out foundation. Literally any foundation. It looks amazing. I'm obsessed with this. This blends my foundation out amazing. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And this is the holiday packaging. So it came with a powder puff um, and a full size powder. And I got both of these for the price of just the powder. And the puff normally retails for $15, so, but with the holiday thing, I got it for the same price. I love this powder. It's my favorite setting powder. Keeps me matte all day. Looks amazing with what I have on right now, and it's just, it's flawless. I love it. So I went ahead and picked up another one of those. I also picked up another Anastasia Brow Wiz in Deep Brown. We all know what that is love using it on my eyebrows all the time and then i also picked up an urban decay naked skin concealer in the shade medium neutral this is a great everyday concealer for me it's super lightweight and not as heavy feeling as the tarte shape tape so i love that i got the natasha denona blackest black eyeshadow it's just an all black or all matte somebody's in the door an all matte black eyeshadow um casey holmes raves about this so it's supposed if i can speak it is supposed to be super blendable and beautiful and easy to use and pigmented so i went ahead and purchased that to go with my ba -ba -da -ba, drum roll the natasha denona 28 pan eyeshadow palette I got the green brown. This is the green brown palette. Look at how gorgeous this is. Stunning. Oh. I'm just staring at it in my mirror down here. This is amazing. I love this. I could look at this all day long. Oh. Buttery and shimmery and glorious. And I love them. And I'm so excited I got this. This was an investment I was really nervous to get, but I'm glad I got it. 
All right, guys, so that does it for me today. That was my Sephora VIB root haul. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. I hope that worked. I look like I don't know what I'm doing with my life, do I? Oh, that's nice. How, that has probably been happening this whole time. I've been <sighs> trying to ruin my aesthetic I got going on. This is only my third time to try to film a video. I hope that I'm in focus, but we'll see. This is super cash. Super cash. Um, this fell again.